What is going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Victorious and as always We're trying to get some more points so we can upgrade this team if you weren't here for last episode things that you missed we won pretty much a nail-biter of a game and We upgraded the team quite a bit some new debuts being made here today Denzel Ward at free safety Roquan Smith at right outside linebacker Buda Baker at strong safety Shinobi Awuzie at cornerback number one frank clark at right end hassan reddick at left end and jordan phillips at defensive tackle it's a pretty good team we didn't touch the offense at all We're still rocking with randy moss doug baldwin and we still are undefeated somehow on the season and it would be pretty much just the perfect fit of irony and sadness if we were to lose our first game after upgrading from the majority of a silver team to now we have a majority gold team should be a good one regardless. Hopefully we can get some more points on the board. More Michael Vick rushing touchdowns and yards would be cool. We don't really see much of that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. All right, there's our squad. Pretty good looking team. But again, it's not exactly that deep. And we are playing a god squad. Michael Vick, Champ Bailey, DeMarcus Ware. That's a rip. I imagine it's both going to be difficult to move the ball and uh, difficult to stop him from scoring as uh, it doesn't look like his user is going to be anything special as we're going to take off with Michael Vick here and <laughs> we're taking hits early it looks like he is a pretty predictable user though like he'll follow something oh my goodness DeMarcus Ware is brutalizing our offensive line here that's such an idiot decision by me what am I doing this is, this is how I'm going to lose. I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. I don't even give myself a chance because instead of throwing the ball away or trying to run for, you know, whatever yardage I could, I'm throwing I'm throwing that ball. What am I doing? Let's go with a QB draw here on first down. Who would ever expect that? Not this guy. Michael Vick sliding. Keeps coming out in cover too. And if he's not having his middle linebacker deep which it appears like he is and i threw it right at him again can i stop doing that i know i got his first down but that's not the right throw there it is there it is it's a dot from michael vick john ross inside the 20 dude uh my god i'm i'm having not that much time to throw because of demarcus Ware. a little bit annoying there's Derek carrier though it's a first down. I don't know what I got to do to uh, to escape DeMarcus Ware here. DeMarcus Ware here. He's just very good. I assume he's going to be a problem. Go, Michael Vick. Let's go. Touchdown. That's what I got to do. Just run the ball with Michael Vick. That's a point for the Michael Vick touchdown. Oh, he also knows fake screen wheel. And he just did. Oh, that was a beautiful stop. All right. Tough. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's it's hard to not get mad at that. And he's going to QB sneak into the end zone. Oh. <laughs> that was a tough drive. Okay, that was... That was almost really annoying. Was throwing the ball to Derek Carrier. Carrier. It hit somebody in the helmet. Randy Moss ended up with it. Because he keeps sending heat right up the middle with his user. And it's very difficult to combat. And Von Miller, I think, with the sack there. Ugh. Third and 12. Come on, Michael Vick. I'm going to scramble. I'm going to try to. We got it. Michael Vick. We're going to go ahead and slide there so we don't give him a concussion. pretty good pretty good pass and run after the catch there we are perfect through the air after the terrible interception to start this game so that's at least encouraging this guy's team is so good he's got Khalil Mack Von Miller Demarcus Ware Champ Bailey is this heat off I don't even know what this is what do we even call here let's hope something gets open there it is. Derek Carrier drops the ball. That's why I need a new tight end. It's a first down. I'm going to take my points. 
Kick is up. Kick is good. We're fighting to stay in this game. Very frustrating so far. Derek Carrier, I, I need that to be caught. All right, we're going into the half. He's going to get the ball back. I didn't capitalize. Went for Randy Moss. I think I got confused as to what the route was because I just, it, it you know, just wasn't a good play. But uh, I don't know. Regardless, it, we maybe wouldn't have had the ball anyway without the force fumble. So this guy's got a free play. He's going to deep to Randy Moss. I mean, I just wouldn't have had that either way. I'm not sure why, because he, he went for the hard count a play ago. And he took a false start, and then he does it again, uh, and I turn on pass rush aggressive for it. Uh, super frustrating. But, he, I mean, he has speed over the top. He would have had that anyway. My team, just it's too slow right now to compete. That's a good run. I mean, all he can do in the red zone is run. A lot of people have that. And uh, he just cut it back, found the open hole. It's a good run, good play. I don't think we're going to be able to win this game. I really don't. We just, our team can't compete. I think, and you guys feel free to disagree. I'm sure many of you think I suck. Uh, and I'm not great, but I mean, he's got one of the best teams in the game and I'm rocking mostly golds. It, it's just tough to compete in that environment. If the fake screen to the wheel can get open right here, we could have huge points. He covered that really well. We're going to throw the ball anyway. John Ross! Would have been good. <laughs> Would have been a good play. On the run, John Ross, sideline. Caught. Michael Vick, close to 200 yards here. That would be huge for us in terms of points. Also, another touchdown. I really can't stress it enough. Would be massive. There's Derek Carrier again. Went to that a little bit earlier. He's going to fumble the ball. This is what I talk about with the overall stuff. There's a point to where you really just can't compete because it's everybody's so much faster and they hit harder They make you pay more if a mistake happens and uh, I didn't make a mistake. I threw to the open receiver and we just got Absolutely buried it's Keith Marshall Getting involved. All we need is six passing yards with Michael Vick. That's really what I'm going for here The touchdown would be nice just as you've seen, it's proving a little bit difficult to get into the end zone against this guy. He's decent for sure. So we got John Ross for the first down. A little bit of a risky throw, but that is going to be another point. 200 yards equals two points. We had a touchdown already rushing, so that's at least three. We're probably not going to get the points for the win here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. This corner's been open a couple times to Derek Carrier with what he runs. And it's going to be open again. We can pretty much go back to that religiously with what his defense is set up in. If we just get a better player than Derek Carrier, we're going to be cooking there. Because he drops the ball too often. As you can tell, he fumbles. But we're going to have a free play here. And there it is. Caught by Doug Baldwin. We're going to take the yardage inside the 20 now. I threw that too late. Did I not? That's a touchdown. Doug Baldwin. That was a really dangerous throw, but we beat the cover two hard flats there. Score a touchdown. Michael Vick killing it. That's going to be another point. So we are probably going to lose this game. I'm going to go for the onside. But this is a weird onside recovery. Well, okay. Now he's going to switch to it. It's odd that after I kick the ball, he can do that. Even though I already input the thing. Like, I'm going to take my hands off the controller and he's going to kick, probably. There it is. It's great. It's great recovery. That is the game. Sorry I feel a little bit salty here at the end. But, like, let's be honest. I made one mistake at the start and then the, the rest I couldn't control. I dominated the passing game with Michael Vick. This was probably the best game that I played. Even though he was 4 for 5 for 118, I mean, my secondary is just not there. I was 18 for 22, 263 and a touchdown. So that's going to be two points for 200 yards. It's a point for the touchdown, so that's three. Got into the end zone with Michael Vick, but he fumbled. So people want me to take away a point for that and the interception. Did we ever agree to that? I feel like it makes sense. So that's, that's going to be minus two overall. So the touchdown won't count. And then uh, passing, 
I guess we'll take away that touchdown. So we're going to finish here with two points. I, I guess I just got to not throw interceptions then. Take our first loss of the series. I'm not a gracious loser. I don't know what to tell you. I don't like losing at all. It's like one of my least favorite things. I probably hate losing more than I like winning in general, if that makes any sense to you guys. So we have two upgrade points because we detracted from the fumble and the interception, which means we only get points for 200 plus passing yards. So unfortunately, wait, no, that actually we have three points because as you can see on the right, since the points stack, I didn't know that I did the points that way. I kind of forgot, <laughs> but uh, that's three points. So that's fine. Three points is actually a lot better than two. I'm not sure if you guys are mathematicians, but uh, three is better than two in almost every scenario. My new tight end is going to be Gerald Everett. It's going to cost me 2,300 coins, but he has good speed, solid catching. If we compare him to Derek Carrier, I don't know if it's exactly going to be night and day, but I can tell you overall, he is better. He is better. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone out and got him. But uh, how many tight ends do I have? So he's got better speed, actually. He's got plus 10 catching. Way better catch and traffic. Significantly better spectacular catch. Way better route running. Gerald Everett, this is actually night and day. Because he's fast, too. He's like Derek Carrier, but he does other things well than just run fast. Doesn't really matter too much with the, uh, who I go here for running back. But I am going to go Saquon Barkley. Just because I love Saquon Barkley. And he's fast. And that's what I'm looking for in a running back in this game. So we have one more point to spend. We've done running back. We've done tight end. And I think... Do I want to go back to the defense? I think I'm going to finally finish the upgrading on the offense. And I'm going to go right guard. I currently have a silver there. We're going to upgrade to a low gold. Or I guess a gold in general. And Forrest Lamp might be the pick here. What's Josh Klein looking like? 84 pass block. Yeah, sign me up, actually, because that's incredible. I am so down for that. All right, Josh Klein, 3,300 coins. Welcome to the team. Great pass blocker. We don't run the ball too much. Despite the loss, despite the fewer upgrade points, this was a pretty effective episode. All right, Gerald Everett's in. Josh Klein is, is in. And now on offense at running back, Saquon Barkley is in. We're going to improve to a 76 overall. And the offense really is starting to come together here. I mean, like, not really, but now... Now all we need to do is upgrade Christopher Herndon, rookie tight end for the Jets at fullback. And we need to upgrade Ola Kuhn, Kendall Donerson, Earl Mitchell, and Brandon Wilson. So that's two, four, and then fullback. Five more upgrade points. And then we'll be able to upgrade to elite players. That's going to be a game changer. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.